So we have a new movie directed by George Clooney starring Matt Damon, Julianne Moore, and Oscar Isaac. This should sound like it should be one of the best films of the year. What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new movie directed by a world-renowned actor, and that movie is Suburbicon. Directed by George Clooney, starring Matt Damon, Julianne Moore, and Oscar Isaac. In this movie, it's about a world of Suburbicon. Suburbicon is a place where it's the perfect place to raise a family. There's also some segregation involved in Suburbicon. And Matt Damon plays a father. He works a lot. And his wife, played by Julianne Moore, he has a son as well. And it involves some things about crime. There are these two guys who are torturing Matt Damon. And some other crazy stuff happens in this film that's really weird to describe. Now, Suburbicon, I heard some things about this movie, but when I found out it was directed by George Clooney, that got me interested, because George Clooney's a fantastic director. He directed The Monuments Men, which wasn't that great, but it is okay. And so, going into this movie, I was in mostly interested because of Matt Damon, Julianne Moore, and Oscar Isaac, the cast involved. And plus, the screenplay was written by the Coen brothers. All of those things sound like it should be one of the best films of the year. And it wasn't. Are you serious? Suburbicon has a great concept, but the outcome is just shit. I'm just mad, because I was really let down by this movie. I was expecting so many things from it, and it just really disappointed me. So... Let's go to the positives first, because there are some positives. Really, the performances are honestly the best part of Suburbicon. Matt Damon, he gives a solid performance in here. Julianne Moore has a mysterious two-part role, which she did a great job playing it. Julianne Moore's fantastic in the film. Plus, Oscar Isaac comes in in the first hour, and he's honestly the most entertaining character in this entire film. The cinematography looked great. It's a really well-shot film. And that's honestly it. Those are all the positives that I liked about Suburbicon. So, let's go straight into the negatives. The biggest gripe I had with Suburbicon is the story. The story's a mess. Like, you have too many different plot points that just aren't well explained. You have this story involving Matt Damon and his family and something happens, which I won't reveal it because it's a spoiler. And from there on, it's just confusing. Like you don't get why this is happening. It's just a mess. This entire movie really is a mess. Nothing makes sense. It's just there for comedic sake. It's also the marketing team behind this film because the marketing campaign tried to make this out to be a comedy and it wasn't a comedy at all. It's a drama and that really let me down because there was nothing dramatic about this film and it's just not that well structured. I was kind of hoping this movie would be a comedy and it just wasn't. The pacing really slows this film down and clocking in at an hour and 45 minutes made me almost fall asleep. I'm not joking. The story in this film is just poorly written to the point where I don't care about what's happening on screen because the script doesn't make sense. And also, these characters aren't well-functioned. They aren't well-written. And you have very talented cast members playing those parts. Matt Damon, very great actor. His character's poorly written. And also, Julianne Moore and Oscar Isaac, not much development on them. And the entire story, it's kind of like Hail Caesar that came out last year. It has great actors, but not not well-structured characters in a story. And I felt like the Coen brothers, they're great screenwriters. Here, I really couldn't get behind the characters in this film. In the end, guys, Suburbicon is a huge letdown. Again, it has great characters, great actors involved, but the outcome is just a mess. This movie could have been so much better. It felt like it wasn't finished, like they had the ideas in place, but then it just came out wrong. I wish this movie was a whole lot better. There are redeeming qualities in this, for sure. If they improved upon some things, then it would have been a much better film. But this is just a huge letdown, in my opinion. On my rating scale, I am going to give Suburbicon a 2 out of 5 stars. It's not an atrocity. It's not an abomination. 
It's just a letdown. All right, guys, that was my review for Suburbicon. Have you guys seen it yet? Did you love it, think it was okay, or did you absolutely hate it? Let me know down below. If you guys haven't seen yet already, my reviews for Thank You For Your Service and Jigsaw are on my channel now. Go check those out if you want to hear my opinions on them. Thank you guys as always for watching this review, and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below, as well as links to my Patreon and Snapchat. Click that notification bell on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!